So you've got a serviced accommodation unit, whether you own it or whether you've rent to rented it, when should you set up a channel manager? In this video, I'm gonna share it all. Welcome to the channel, I'm Simon and I have two seven figure property businesses and I love serviced accommodation. I own serviced accommodation and I also have tons of rent to serviced accommodations. So on this video, I'm gonna share with you my journey uh, through serviced accommodation and when I would recommend setting up a channel manager. So before we get into it, firstly, a channel manager is simply sort of a management software, a system that allows you to list your property on multiple different online travel agents, but it has a central operating system. So it stops things like, um, you know, calendar double bookings, and it allows you to basically have the power of the systems because you've got one operating system rather than having to go on loads. It also allows you to be on more platforms and it also allows you to just set up more automation. Okay, so you can have things where you change the pricing on the channel manager and it changes it everywhere else. So it's super, super handy. But when should you set it up? So look, I'm somebody that likes to do things, you know, right. I, I go all in. So my first ever unit, I got my property straight on a channel manager. And to be honest with you, the majority of my bookings came through Airbnb and booking.com. Uh, and every now and then I'd get another one, but it was rare. So, you know, I kind of thought, yeah, it's worth it, but it wasn't really worth it, if I'm honest, for just one deal. So what I'm now thinking is actually, sometimes what it's best to do is set up your unit, get it on Airbnb and maybe booking.com because they can talk to each other a little bit. Um, get some type of direct booking system going on and you can potentially hold off. Once you've got five deals, this is what I recommend. If your property is getting 90% occupancy on Airbnb or booking.com or a combination of both, you probably don't need a channel manager. You don't need the extra system, extra thing to learn, extra expense. You probably just don't need it. Once you do start getting to that 10 SA units, then yeah, it's gonna be starting to you know, be necessary not just for the systems and the automation to make your life easier, but also because you need to keep your occupancies high. And a lot of channel managers now have partnerships and affiliations with big um, OTAs, online travel agents that you've not even heard of. So there's big ones in America, big ones in Asia, that essentially are the booking.com of those districts. So you can get a lot of international travelers. They can set you up a central website where people can book direct and connect it to your Google business. But if I was starting again now, I would probably put it on Airbnb initially to see your occupancy. If you're 100% or you get a massive long booking, cool. Put it on booking.com um, as well because they're the main two. See your occupancy. Now, I've got over 20 odd serviced accommodation units now. So naturally, when you hit those type of levels, you're gonna start oversaturating in your market. And that's when it's even more important to have a channel manager. Now, I'm not gonna recommend which channel manager, but if you have a channel manager, comment below. Let us know what you're on. Let us know how you're finding it and let us know when you would do it. Top tip. If you're somebody that likes to really, really get every single detail set up from day one, otherwise you can't focus, then course. Set up a channel manager, it definitely won't harm. All right, but all I would say is make sure you allow a few weeks for it to be set up correctly. And if you're doing a rent to rent, then you might just wanna slap it on Airbnb initially so you could just get some money in. I, I've seen people that are paying for a rent to rent for three, four weeks before the channel manager's live and that is not a good idea. Second top tip, on a lot of channel managers, you will still need individual Airbnb accounts still need individual booking.com accounts. So there's nothing wrong with setting them up to get bookings and then syncing them to the channel manager later. Hope you found this useful. If you like content like this, slap the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Introducing Creative Cashflow Plus, the first rent to rent app and leading platform dedicated to supporting you on your property journey. Ask the experts anything. Be held accountable so that you can smash your goals. Mastermind with other rent-to-rent -rent specialists. 
access our deal clinic to get your deals analyzed by a pro and unlock hours of videos and podcasts guaranteed to help you take your rent to rent business to the next level. Get the ongoing support that you deserve. Join us, Creative Cashflow Plus.